guys and welcome back to J Publishing. I'm Elise and usually my mom, TH Land, is right beside me, but for this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about how to develop your characters and this is a little different than character development. So character development is usually, you know, how your character grows throughout the story and what changes they go through throughout the story, but I'm talking about how to develop your character. So how to basically create your character and turn them into a character that you will love and readers will love also. And I hope that makes sense. But before I continue this video, me and TH Land have books out that are available right now on Amazon. One of the books by TH Land and illustrated by Jasmine Land is called I Like My Dirty Green Shoes. And the link for our books will always be in the pinned comment of every video, even if we don't mention it. So that is a children's book. Go and check that out, guys. Every little kid will love it. And my book is Humanity's End by me, Elise Land. And that is a like children's forward slash young adult novel. Um, and it's a zombie apocalypse book. So go check that out. Again, they will always be linked in the pinned comment. Now, let's just get started. And thank you guys so much for over 500 subscribers. We are so surprised. We cannot believe it. And we just want to say thank you guys for supporting fellow writers. And let's just get started. I will talk about my mom, TH Land's method to creating her characters. So she told me that basically she just goes with it. Once she's kind of writing about her, writing her story, she lets her character, and these are her quotes, speak to her and come alive. She lets them just flow and she just starts writing and just lets the character create themselves and this is what a lot of people and i've done this method as well just to let the story go with the flow with the characters develop as you go and i think that is a very effective way and if you do any other methods that i don't talk about in this video that does not mean your method is incorrect your method is perfectly fine the way it is and that's the amazing thing about art there's no right or wrong with art you're just creating it now my method is a little more hands-on um, like I mentioned, I do do the same method my mom, TH Land, does, but other times when I just, when nothing's coming out, when I'm like, I don't know how to create this character and I need to know this character before I start this book. Um, and so I usually write down my characters and their description. So the first thing I do is their name. I'm like, okay. And if you guys checked out our video on the seven um challenges author space go check that out either come up with a character name or maybe look it up like we mentioned on that video um and let's say so for example my character axel and humanities end there will be no spoilers i should say that when i do this video um the axel is the main character in the book humanities end that i published and i was like okay I'm going with the name Axel because I loved that name because it's one of my favorite characters names and so I was like I want my character in my book to be named after this guy and so then I originally he was like 10 years old in the book he's actually 16 and so I was like okay he's gonna be 16 years old now I want him to be a teenager I want him to be able to drive and things like that and it kind of went from there um eye color race he's black his eye color is dark brown different things like that that you can really do um to help develop your character I also do like I like writing down their parents who their parents are so Axel's mom's name is Avery his dad's name is Reese and his stepdad is Hayden and again these are no spoilers Axel talks about his family in the first chapter or so um but yeah and um you can also talk about their education if they have any siblings things like that schools they've attended their spiritual beliefs Axel is a Christian there's a lot of different things you can do if they have pets you know and a very important thing is their personality so I really wanted Axel to be a kind and loyal character and so I wanted to put that in the book a lot but also a realistic character throughout different decisions he makes in the book and so you can put things like is your character adventurous are they compassionate there's a lot of different things that you can do you can also write down kind of to help their character development you can talk about you know what role you want them to have in the story what important role do you want your character to have if you don't know trust me i didn't know most of the characters in humanity's end or my books to come what their point in the story was going to be but if you do like doing outlines with your story you can definitely do like an outline sort of thing with your character to kind of get them going 
and you know you can write their character arc and different notes you want to remember you want to get those key points that you want to remember write that stuff down all of that is important in developing your character or creating your character and um i think that really helped with different characters in my book i really hope this helped you kind of figure out a way to create your character or develop your character and if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments down below me and th lam will try our best to answer any questions you guys may have and i really hope this video helped you guys now again i'm elise and i hope you enjoyed this video